What happened? Uh-oh. <laughs> Speaking of bugs. <gasps> Ant. That's a bug. Oh, it sure did just add more bugs to the list. Let's go. All right. We got a big list here. Ultra, I know you're away from keyboard. Can I get a... Can I get a confirmation you're still here? Quick select. Okay, that just does that. There doesn't appear to be a random button. Because if so, I'm going to run down the new list of animals now that we have more bugs added to the equation. I'm listening. Alright, here's your new list of animals. Anaconda, ant, archer fish, armadillo, baboon, bat, behemoth, black widow, bombardier beetle, bull, camel, chameleon, cheetah, chimpanzee, cockroach, condor, coyote, crocodile, dolphin, dragonfly, eagle, electric eel, elephant, firefly, garden spider, garfish, giant anteater, giraffe, gorilla, great white shark, grizzly bear, hammerhead shark, Hercules beetle, hippopotamus, hornet, horse, hyena, kangaroo, killer whale, Komodo dragon, lemming, lioness, lobster, moose, mountain lion, muskox, panther, piranha, poison frog, polar bear, porcupine, praying mantis, ram, rat, rattlesnake, raven, rhinoceros, scorpion, shield bug, skunk, snapping turtle, snowy owl, sperm whale, spitting cobra, tarantula, termite, tiger, vulture, walking stick, walrus, warthog, wasp, wolf, wolverine, Woolly Mammoth Zebra. Now, while you all think about that, I am going to random a number between 1 and 50. We're going to make this first guy randomly selected. So, 1 through 50. I've randomed the number 8. So, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The Black Widow is the first animal in our randomly created one. And our, our second lad will be... Four, oh, great, 44. We're going to have to count 44 past the Black Widow here. Oh, Christ. Why does it load it up like this? I mean, it's all the same to me, but, you know. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, the praying mantis. That's a pretty simple creation, a pretty basic buggy. We're going to create the black mantis. The merge is currently happening. Alright, immediately regret everything we've done here. We've kept it. We, we have the hind legs of the Black Widow. That seems unnecessary. That's hilariously horrific, but... Let's think for a moment here. Man the Black Wing Mantis? That's a sick name. Alright, let's think for a second here. What, what about the head? What head are we feeling here? I think maybe Mantis head. I do kind of like it having two different sets of legs. But which ones do I want it to have? Why did it get faster when I did that? I kind of like Man- I kind of like Mantis head. We need to have its front claws be mantis, because that's the mantis part of it. If we change the body. Oh, Christ, what on earth? What have we done? I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> Whatever, we can fix that. Oh, good lord. 
What if, what if you change its head now? What does it do to the rest of it? Oh god, I don't I kinda hate this, but love it at the same time. I want it to walk. How do I trigger the walk cycle on it? Oh okay. Alright, well, alright. Yeah, no, that's horrific. No, yeah, that's definitely horrific. <laughs> Bite claws, <laughs> leap attack, poison. It's like a spider burst out of a mantis. I think that's exactly what happened here. I think changing the tail will just give it like a regular spider body. A xenomorph spider. See, I kind of just, I kind of don't think it's like, I like how fucked up it is the other way. You know, we were never going to get anything too crazy out of a Black Widow and a Mantis fused together. So, I actually kind of like, by the way, uh, human for scale. Human for scale, by the way. In case you ever, oh, I'm walking down the street, you're like, oh, what happens when I see this guy? That's what you're up against. You thought you could step on this with your boot, you moron? Human for scale. You're cooked. <laughs> its legs are like shoulder length. <laughs> Just imagine like you're in the woods and this starts coming at you. <laughs> It's got the venom of a black widow in it too. That's so good. All right, we're ro we're rocking this guy. We're gonna hit uh. Steam X. Oh, you love to see it. That's the wrong button. Steam X. What's the backspace? Is X okay? Let me get the shotgun. Sorry, it actually has an exoskeleton. We are actually. I'm gonna take one of you guys' idea. This is going to be the Xenomantis. The first member of our new society. God help those who challenge. Take a picture of your creature to create an icon to represent it. Just take a picture of a red lock pierce. This saves your current picture until you unlock or take a new one. Oh, dude, I absolutely want. I want him to start running. Horrific. Perfect. The Xenomantis has been saved. Alright. I want each of you to pick a number between 1 and 100. I will then randomize the number. And whoever was the closest gets to make their first... Well, they get to choose if they go first or second. And there's a reason for this. But each of you pick a number between 1 and 100. As we get ready for animal number two. I hope we don't have to wait for the animals to load every time. I don't think we should. Dino B has chosen 33. Ultra has chosen 48. Alright, so this is basically going to be like an is it higher or lower. And it's 33 exactly! That's insane! <laughs> what the heck? I unironically just randomed 33. <laughs> Holy shit. Blackjack. Alright. Dino B, do you want to pick the first animal, having no clue what Ultra will take? Or will you make Ultra pick the first animal and then you get to ca choose what fuses with it? And you'll both get to have, like, you'll both get four of each direction. But which one do you want first? I am going to say no duplicate animals. It's an important rule. No duplicates. So you can't use Mantis. Can't use Black Widow. Once one of them gets taken, you can't use it for future ones. So if you want to make sure you get you see one, take it when you can. I desire to pick the first animal. All right, then. 
I can scroll down the list again if you'd like. If you have something in mind, you can say it. I can also filter by ability, so like I can show you people that have the assassinate ability. Hide all. Show all. Go on ability filter on him though. What would you like to do? Do Komodo Dragon. Alright. And so, Ultra, you will get to pick what animal will fuse with the Komodo Dragon. I'll let you get a look at the Komodo here for a second. Silly looking little guy. There he is. He doesn't pop up in this screen yet. So as, as stated, I can I can do any of There's water units, amphibious, air, land, range, or I could filter by ability. Or I could just start scrolling down. <clears throat> what abilities are there? <clears throat> there is... Eh, eh. Please, please let me in. Assassinate, Barrier Destroy, Camouflage, Charge Attack, Defensive Cloud, Defile Land. It's, a, it's like a trading card ability. Defile Land, Deflection Armor, Dig It, Disorienting Barbs, Electric Burst, Flash, Frenzy, Herding, High Endurance, Horns, Hovering, Immunity, Infestation, Keen Sense, Leap Attack, Loner, Pack Hunter, Plague, Poison, Poison Touch, Quill Burst, Regeneration, and Sonar Pulse and Web Throwing. I can also just... Well, I'm going to turn off the ability filter so you say it one. And we'll just we'll do a casual scroll. What has electric? I think mean, electric eel for sure, but let's see. Electric Burst. Please filter. Electric. Maybe the f it doesn't work. <laughs> Wait, can I sort by this? Okay, maybe this doesn't work. Unless I turn all the others off. Oh wait, maybe I have to uh, hide all and then do electric burst. It's a lot with electricity. Hide all and then show. Oh yeah, it's just the eel. If you want me to go back to default list, I can. Or I can pull up another ability. <laughs> Never mind. All right. We'll show all. If you need me to slow down or go back, just let me know. Hippo? The hippo. Is that you locking it in? Are you locking in hippo with Komodo dragon? Yes. Okay. The hippopotamus has been chosen. <clears throat> Let's see what we can make. This is tough, because I would say for both the hippo and the Komodo dragon, their heads are like some of their most vital parts. So you, you really have to wonder, like, which head is better? Let's, let's go full hippo for a second. What if we go full hippo with Komodo head? See, that's full hippo. You never want to go full hippo, alright? The Komodo Drodimus. Poison is good. The head should give it poison touch. 
Oh, it gives it poison. All right, that's a little that's a little goofy. Now what if we what if we ran it the other way? What if we went full Komodo with Hippo Head? This does have every ability except Poison Touch. <laughs> oh Christ on. <laughs> He's planking. <laughs> Add the tail. It's just a fat Komodo dragon now. It's just a fucking obese Komodo dragon. <laughs> Dude, adding the tail made it so much slower. It looks like a stegosaurus without the plates. Holy shit, you're right. This is what Dunks looks like. It's like a rat. <laughs> we made a fucking rat, dude. I almost think it's better without the tail. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. No tail. We made a fat rat. And give it hippo hind legs. <laughs> hippo body. I think Komodo front and then either Komodo or Hippo head, whichever is better looking. What if I swapped it? What if I went Komodo back, Hippo front? So there's a, there's a lot of logistics that have to happen here in the lab. I do love that so much. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. But I don't know. I just think there's something to like the other layouts. <laughs> I want to see what this I think I think this not this. Hold up. I think this body is the best. And then it's just a matter of which head if you both agree. I really like this body for it. I don't like how it looks at me. Come on, heads better. I like this. I think this is good. Gamers, what are we naming this creation? I will give naming privileges to the person who chose the first animal. Wait, all right, we're waiting, we're waiting. Assuming they want naming privileges. <clears throat> the tail gives it poison touch. But the tail also make, ruins how it runs. I think it's funnier without the tail. But this is, this is up to the individual's. See, I think this is way less funny.
Well, six, I think it's slower. But that might just be the animation looks slower. Go with the other one. I think, yeah, I think it is. I think the speed went up. I don't really know how to read the stat screen. The blue number went up. What does it say? Oh, it's water speed goes up without the tail. Otherwise, it's the same. All right, and what will we be naming this creation? Young gamers. Dino, you chose the first animal, so you can pick the name. The Komodo fat ass. The Komodo potamus. The Hippogon. Bin Bin. Any name your heart desires. Fat Fuck Johnson. The Comatose. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Ultra, you've got the next animal pick. You may think about it while I... By the way, human for scale, guy, man for scale, he big, he big. <gasps> Wait, do it again. He smiled. I have to, I have to like time it right. No, I gotta time that right. I can't, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. What? I got it. No, I didn't. I will spend the rest of my life trying to get him smiling at the camera. Good enough. Alright. We're going in. Animal number three. Ultra, you have the floor. You know how this works. I will scroll until you tell me to do something otherwise. <clears throat> Hammerhead Shark. An incredible pick. And Dino B, you will be <coughs> counterpicking. You also know how this works, what to tell me to do, what to tell me to search, if anything. Your fusion with the hammerhead shark. A crocodile. All right, all right. I see, I see, I see. <clears throat> A twenty seven swim speed. Yep, that's just a crocodile. I would like to see just crocodile with hammerhead head. I'm sure that's very silly. This is a huge crocodile. Oh yeah. Now we're thinking with portals. Dude, that's Sid the Sloth. I feel like this just might be a very simple thing of a crocodile head on and tail on the hammerhead body. Oh, 
Oh, but you get to choose the legs. Now, hold on. What if no back legs? Hmm. Oh, he's no longer amphibious. What if only back legs? I really want him to just run on two legs. still a swimmer. If I drop both the legs, but then give him the Komodo body back, can I break the system? It's like a little Spinosaurus. No, it is gonna give both of his legs back. It's actually just gonna make him a crocodile again. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Run it back. Run it back. There could be value to this. <laughs> I kind of like this. Can we just hammerhead with legs? Feel free to speak up. I'm, I'm looking at what it is. Feel free to speak up if there's a specific combination you really like. I'm trying to think of names. Which head do you guys like? I think this is the right body, but which head do you guys prefer? I kind of think Hammerhead's a little sillier. Hammerhead, yeah. Like, it's either Crocodile, but he's missing one, of, one set of legs, so he's a swimmer, or it's Hammerhead, but he's got Crocodile legs. What the tail? What tail do you guys like more? The melee damage is the paw. That makes sense. He does get a tail swipe ability with the crocodile tail. Kind of like this guy. Look at him walk. He's grooving! Twenty-four damage based. Alright, what what are we naming it, gamer? The ball peen. El Sledgedor. No clue. Mine bounce on my desk. The Hammer and the Nile. Captain Hammer. Clark. Uh, war 
hammer. The Shugster. Car. Warhammer's pretty good. A okay. Boop, 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 boop. It's the space button. It's Y. Is this theme song? Shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. The Warhammer has been chosen. Do you guys want to keep going? You want to you want to make more another set of 3? We can keep making or we can pivot. I don't care either way. I'm just doing a check since I know we spent an hour just waiting for this to load. Let's look at your face. Yes. All right, we're going in. Combiner, do them all. All right. Dino B, you've got the first pick on this one. Tarnish DD Donker, he is a chubby bopper. Give you scratchy chin while I click through these. He just needs so much attention. He's just such a little meaty guy. he doesn't get it he starts clicking buttons on my keyboard to try and end the stream uh oh here he comes all right i scooted over add some bull to this shit all right ultra time for you to think about who's getting fused with a bull scorpion he's going already immediate he said he said he had that on his notes. He said if bull chosen scorpion. That was a frame one decision. He was locked and ready to go. I mean, I feel like there's an there's a, a very easy combination here, honestly. I actually think I already have the vision of what this should be in my head. Alright, that's a pretty funny run. I can't even visibly see the difference, but that's pretty funny. Alright, we're gonna immediately need the bull head. Dang you, too. And we're gonna need the bull torso. And just... <laughs> Alright, that's not quite what I imagined. I need him to run. That's really good. That's better than what I imagined, honestly. Because I was obviously picturing all scorpion body, but or all scorpion legs, but the two bull legs are pretty good. Dunks. That stinger is the size of two people. He actually gets so much slower when just in scorpion mode. What if we get rid of the front legs for two bull legs? What does that look like? Like this one's easy. Scorpion claws, scorpion tail, bull head. It's just what what leg and body ratio are we going for? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like a slow, ominous approach. <laughs> imagine. Imagine you're like, you're on like a ranch, right? And you, 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 <laughs> the claws look glued on. Imagine you're on a ranch and you just see this thing in the distance. And it's just walking along. And then you take one step and you like crack a, you like crack a twig. Horrific part of a mascot. 
bull back legs. That's pretty horrific. That's pretty horrific, too. What if all bull legs but scorpion body? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I kind of love that. It makes it small. I mean, it, it actually doesn't make it smaller, really. It makes the torso smaller. Perfect. Nah, yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. This guy's zooming, bro. This guy is as fast as as the hammerhead is in the water. That's insane. Well, naming time. Thank you, dogs. Thank you. Pat, 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 pat. Dogs, don't snoop into the mic too much. El Bandito. Alrighty. Fantastic. Steerpian. That one, I respect that one a lot. I like M El Bandito, but the Steerpian is really good too. I just love its panic. Oh! That was him eating me. Me when I get you. Alright. Ultra, you get the first one on this one. I've got a, I, we're gonna do a special twist on things for the last two. But Ultra, you get to pick this one. Fuck, it looked this way. It like looked this way, then licked its claw. I don't, I didn't mean to go so fast. See what can fly. All right. So that's a simple hide all and then take air units. We got the bat, the condor, the dragonfly, the eagle, the firefly, the hornet, the raven, the snowy owl, the vulture, and the wasp can are all air units. You tell them, Dunks. Do you want to fuse with a bat? <laughs> with a wasp? Vulture with a vulture, dunks will never fuse. All right, and Dino B, you pick anything you want to fuse with a vulture. We're gonna we're gonna bring everything back. Do, 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 do. SOB. Little dunker. Ooh, uh oh, dunk's about to knock the whole damn mic over. A flying kangaroo. An interesting pick for sure. That is not what a kangaroo looks like. Alright, dunks, I need you to move. You're knocking the mic over. I'm sorry, big chubby baby. 
He's being a guy right now. Yes, I would like to accept my kangaroo kick. Oh, cancel. Not do not save. I mean, I mean, you ha you literally you have to have the wings. That's like the point. And I feel like you need the kangaroo legs. It's a shame it appears you can't have the wings without the body. Well, he is soaring. Thank you, Dunks, for grunting directly into the microphone. I mean, that's really it. If we want a kangaroo with wings, this is. It's about. It's about what we're getting. We could choose to not have it fly. We could choose to just have it be like a. We could we could just go for a different fly. Oh wait, never mind. Saved. Hold up, saved. He's <laughs> there. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Joey come with me I know exactly where we've got to go Joey we've got an adventure to go on Joey give him the tail <laughs> that's not a kanger <laughs> he needs more aerodynamics Joey, I'm Joey, I'm on my way. <laughs> what do you gamers think? How do you how do you feel about this? Thoughts, thoughts? Thoughts and prayers? Add back the tail and face. Do you want to call it the Vegases? Well, I mean, you can. It looks funnier. <laughs> it's just a kangaroo fucking with wings strapped to its back. It looks like some shit from Spy Kids 2. <laughs> Where, like, he literally, all he did was put wings on a kangaroo and s fucking set it off into the air. <laughs> it's legit just a fucking kangaroo. Dude, it sucks ass, too. I do love that its ability is kick. So it does still, like, it flies towards you and then just starts kicking like crazy. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, we can do it here. The Vegasus. All right. I got scared. I thought I replaced someone for a second. Did I? Hold up. Oh, shit, I did. Who did I just replace? I didn't realize I was hovered over someone. I have no idea who that was. Maybe I didn't. This seems like the right number. Maybe it just defaulted back to him for some reason. Yeah, because this will be Dino B's last one of going first, and then Ultra's last one of going first. Okay. Alright, Dino B, this is the first this is the last one where you pick the first animal. So choose carefully. Oops, I accidentally skipped a bunch of them. So it's, it's still a little hard to control with the switch controller. Oh.
I'm gonna blow my nose while I go through these. All right, giraffe it is. And Ultra, you've got... No, Snapping Turtle. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I wasn't looking at chat. He, he's pivoted. Pivoted to Snapping Turtle. All right. Ultra... What are you fusing with a snapping turtle? Sorry, let me pull the animals back up. Stay hydrated, everybody. Thinking cheetah. A cheetah snapping turtle. Are you locking in cheetah? A fast snapper. <laughs> cheetah is being locked in. It does have the Chester Cheetah head. Well, immediately this is fucked up. Immediately mistakes have been made. I don't even understand how you get this in the back here. But also immediately, I'm like, this rules. I feel like there's a simple combination here. As much as I love his giant back legs. I love his tiny front legs, too. Can they all be tiny? Oh my god. <laughs> you better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Dude, and it's amphibious. It's kind of slow as hell in the water, but on land, it's coming for you. <laughs> By the way, human for scale. Imagine this thing sprinting at you 35 miles per hour. Ready to, Mouth as big as your arm ready to clamp in with snapping turtle grit. It 
kind of just lost the tail when I did that. It did make it faster in the water, though. This is just a really fast snapping turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It's just a snapping turtle with the speed of the cheetah. Well, you get to name it Dino B. Dude, imagine like just releasing a dozen of these to attack someone. Ooh, the tortoise and a hare. The perfect predator. The tortoise and the hare about to end a whole lot differently. What are you honking at me for, Dunker? What are we naming this this perfect predator? Apex. Skid Row. Koopa Troopa. The Snapping Speedster. That's like a fucking... That's like Tony. That's like the name of a boy's character. Tony the Turtle. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Got him! Who's about to cause trouble? Alright. And Ultra, this is the last one where you pick the first animal. Make it count. This is where you gotta start throwing out some bangers. Both of ya. It's not the last animal you're picking. This is the last one you're picking to go first. Tony the turtle who's about to start trouble. Ooh. This catchphrase. Gorilla and Firefly are torn between. I'll go ahead and keep going down the list in case you see something else you really like. Walking stick is so fucked up. Gorilla and Firefly. Let's take a look at these lads. You got it. You think you're going gorilla? I'm going gorilla! You locking it in? Are you locking in gorilla? Monkey. Damn, I was hoping I get them both on the screen at the same time. Alright, gorilla has been chosen. Dino B, what's getting fused with a gorilla? He does have the hurting ability. Wow. Wow. Who will be going, Gorilla? Let's see. Let's find out. Hey, everybody. It's me, Flying Gorilla, from my hit game of the game store. My new game on the game store, Flying Gorilla. I hope it's a woolly mammoth, actually. Ooh, there's a lot of... That actually just looks like Manny from Ice Age. That photo. <laughs> There's actually a lot of ways you could take this fusion. These are two very different animals. A gore score of 18 is definitely one way to look at it. The Gorameth? 
hoping for Ultimate Spider Monkey. Well, shit. I think this is already everything a gorilla mammoth needs. You got monkey fists, you got mammoth tusks. Ah, oh, never mind, we made it better. Uh, human for scale, by the way. Human for scale. Guy for scale. What was that? What was that guy about the speedy snapping turtle being the perfect predator? I'm actually 90% sure this is an actual titan from one of the new American Godzilla movies. I'm pretty sure they just made this and called it Behemoth. Ultra, are you content with this? With this gorilla creation? It even still has a little mammoth tail. What's it look like when it's running? Oh yeah, that's that sucks. That's fucking terrifying. Me when I get you. His trunk looks like a very shriveled human arm flexing. You see that? What do the back legs look like? For the mammoth? That's a good question. I feel like it's gonna give him a big ass. I don't know why. <laughs> That's silly. It's a silly guy. Insert the Giga Chad theme. Ultra, this is your call. They're they're both good. I'm gonna see what it looks like with monkey ass. No 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 tail. Yeah, kinda just looks the same. Nothing really changed about him, he just doesn't have the tail now. See no reason to not have a tail. What do you think, Ultra? Which which back legs you like? And then we're probably calling it on this fusion. Then we've just got two more to go through with the, the special twist. The special twist. You're torn. I think the other one looks better. This one is definitely funnier. This one's sillier, the other one's more intimidating. So it's like, which one do you value more? Do I give him a protruding ass? Or do I give him more speed? <laughs> Silliness all the way? Definitely this one then. Oh, he went. <laughs> All right, what are we naming it? What's the name of this lad? Uh oh. I don't know why. When I look at this, all I think is the bouncer. What was the name of Scarlet Great Dawn fan? That was Great Tusk. His name was Great Tusk. That, that Pokemon's name is Great Tusk. Gr 
greatest tusk. Greater tusk. Giga tusk. Quite the team we've put together. But there's still two more. Who are these two secret members of the team? Well, this is where I come in. So I need I need to check something real quick. We're gonna hide all I just out of curiosity, who has the land defiler ability? I I just wanna know that was like the craziest one. Who has land defile? Or defile land, I think. Yes. Who has defile land? Cockroach and bat. Incredible. Alright. I have two animals in mind that I would like to see fusions for here today. You will each get to choose the animal that I fuse with those two. And those are our last two fusions. I am going to let you two choose which one you want to... Uh, to pick, let me, how do I phrase this? Before I show you what my two animals are, you two are going to decide which one you're each assigned to. And I will let you decide now, do you want the one who eats or the one who destroys? These are your two options. They will probably not be what you think they are. You must come to an agreement. Diamond B wants the one who eats. Ultra, are you happy with the one who destroys? All right. Which one of you wants to go first? You know what, I think, I think I'm going to go the one who eats first. I think I'm going to go the one who eats first. Which is, of course, the giant anteater. A loner. He digs. He has tongue attack. Something me and him have in common. Dino B, who's fusing with the giant anteater? If it means anything to you from a gameplay standpoint, we can look at what we currently have. We have, we do have, uh, I think we have a couple water units. We only have one flying unit. An elephant. Great pick. Not the greatest pick, because we do already have Woolly Mammoth on the team, but elephant is still always a good pick. I get the ant destroyer. Actually, I, I think this is a bad pick, actually, because, like, the there's nothing really interesting about a giant anteater except its head, and that's kind of true of the elephant, too. These are actually two terrible things to fuse together, because they're going to just cannibalize each other. Like, their most interesting points are the same body part. The giantophant. It's actually kind of a banger name. Hmm. Even the back legs. He might need the front claws of an anteater, though. I wish I could give the anteater the tusks. You know what I'm saying? doesn't really change much. It having claws is pretty big. 
It is ranged, though. I don't think we had a ranged unit yet. Hmm. Give them the big tail. Yes, sir. I'm going to see what it looks like with uh, elephant limbs, but anteater body. Because that does lose the claws. But he does still have the range. Ain't nothing wrong with just being a... I love him. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's... You know what? I like him. <laughs> I like the giant fant. He's he's snooting. And for the final member of the team, who will it be? Ultra, you will be choosing someone to fuse with a, an animal. I'm surprised none of you picked. Oh, without the claws, he can't dig? Wait, hold up. This is actually, like, a big deal. I actually would really like him to be able to dig. He doesn't have the dig ability. You're right. Hold up. We might have to run this one back. Hold up. Having a guy... Having a big guy who can dig is kind of based. That sucks because I love him like this. I don't even know what digging does. Creature can burrow, becoming undetectable to most units and taking less damage from attacks. Thanks to new tech, it can now use some special abilities while digging, but it may not attack. Flying and swimming units can't dig. Countered by Keen Sense, Sonar Pulse, Towers, Piercing Attacks. Defensive bonus when near at least three other creatures of the same species. Creature gains substantial bonus to attack and defense when fighting alone without any allies nearby. Huh. So he just always has a buff, no matter what. Okay, so what if we ran just anteater body? Or anteater everything but elephant body. They gave him a lot of health. This is our unit built for winning games. You could charge with the back elephant legs. I mean, apparently he can't because I just gave them to him and it didn't. Oh, yeah, it didn't give it to him. I think Gigatusk had more. Yeah, but he has this guy. It has a lot of health and takes less damage by burrowing. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I like his ability to dig. So let's see if you can do better, Ultra. You probably do need the horns, actually. Ultra, you will be fusing something. Think care of this. The last animal getting used, Ultra. It's a lot on your hands. You're going to fuse with the behemoth. Who does have the hovering ability. I don't know what hovering does, but he has it.
poison frog. Is that your final, final answer? This will be the last animal used. He has locked in poison frog. We better hope Vol the Vegasus is incredible because it is our only flying unit now. Should we ever play with this team? All right, let's get it. Let's get an idea first off. What the hell does the Behemoth like look like fully? Also, what is hovering? Creature can unsh. Holy shit! I mean. That's kind of already awesome. Wings from beneath its torso shell and fly short distances, landing on the ground upon arriving at its destination. Okay, alright. That's pretty sick. Oh my god. I th it looks like the bug is coming out of the frog's mouth. Like, this looks like a frog mouth. What is the difference between the two tails? Hey, human for scale, by the way. A human for scale? It does? Holy shit. Hey, hey, hum human for scale, by the way. <laughs> if I give it the frog back legs. The behemoth frog. That somehow made it slower. Why is it so big? No, he still has poison touch. Oh, you mean if I change the tails? I actually think I like it with the back legs of the bug. I don't know why. Why is it so big? Because it's called the fucking behemoth. It's a giant insect. I don't know, I just really like this. This, to me, looks like a poison frog that's been, like, taken over and the bug has burst out of it. And we end with how we start. <laughs> Give it poison touch? It has poison touch. The frog tail gives it poison touch. I have no idea what to call this fucking thing. Yeah, no. It, them being red means they have it. Cause it's like, it's, it's not really red versus brown. It's lit up versus dimmed. Not Menace. No, that's the name of the team. This is so fucking stupid. I don't know why this came to me, but I just... It's just funny to me. The reverse frog. And there you have it. The team of the Xenomantis. The Vegasus. The Comatose. Tony. El Bandito, Warhammer, Gigatusk, Giantophant, and Reverse Frog. The perfect team. None can stop. That's the wrong button. This hell I would like my ability to type, please. 
the menaces. I'm putting together a team. People like us should stick together. Just imagine the meet the team theme. Yeah, I sang it earlier. I've already forgot it though. Alright, cool.